Hey guys, welcome back. I know I've been gone for quite some time, but I promise you I'm back with it. I'm back on it, and I am here to hopefully stay for as long as you hear me. If you guys can hear, I did have my baby. She is going to be nine months. Right. The first things I'm going to jump into are the hair care products that I've gotten. They're both from Lush. The first is the Marilyn, and the second is the Heshwan Wanhua. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this. They're both um, to be like a pre-wash. The Marilyn obviously is for blondes or highlighted people such as myself. And it takes the brassiness out and it um, makes your blonde blonder. Um, they say you can like go into the sun for like 20 minutes. Sorry. And lay out in the sun with it in your hair and it's supposed to lighten it. Um, so that's an option. Unless you like your base color. My hairstylist did tell me that this will definitely strip out your base color. So be mindful of that. But I do like it. It has some chamomile in it and you definitely can smell it. Um, and this one, the Heshwan Wanhua, is um, a conditioning um, treatment. And you leave it in like half an hour. It smells so good. Um, initially when you, like after you use it, you're like, oh, I don't really notice the difference. But like after your hair dries and everything, it's much more bouncier, voluminous, healthier. It feels really good. It has like a cinnamon smell to it. It smells like like Mexican hot chocolate. I don't know what it's called. Uh, atole. It's it's what it smells like. This is my favorite, favorite liquid liner. I'm a 90s child, so I prefer liquid. I know people love gel. I mean, it's alright, but liquid is my thing. And this one is my favorite. I just purchased a new one. It's from NYX. It's the Liquid Black Liner from the Collection Noir. Um, I'm wearing it today. And I'll show you when get out of the box. So it comes in this tube here. And this is what the brush looks like. You can see it. And I love put my liner on like everybody else. I know people look down and they go, I look straight ahead and I just follow it. So that's the way I've done it. That's the way I've always done it. Or do it. And it works for me. I'm not saying I'm right or you're wrong or whatnot. But this just makes it as easy as it can be. She says hello. If you guys are looking for a new liner, I know some people like prefer felt tips, whatever, you know, different strokes for different folks, but I love that one. And it's rather cheap. I think it's like five bucks. And I buy mine at Target. So check it out at a Target near you. And I jumped on the Makeup Geek bandwagon. So starting from, let's see, these three on the top and this yellow one are all Makeup Geek. Um, my favorite being Chickadee. Cupcake and Bitten. These are my three. These are going to look phenomenal for fall as well. Um, this is Mango Tango, which is also another really good one. But I generally love these. I think they're awesome. I think they're great for the price. A little bit like of, they're kind of powdery, but um, I mean, amazing. Amazing quality. Blends like a dream. I mean, everything, the hype is real about them. I, there's nothing else to say. I mean, Everybody says it, and I totally agree. Um, I did purchase Uninterrupted from MAC as well. Love it. I'm wearing that on my eyes today with a little bit of cupcake in my crease, and they're great. I mean, Uninterrupted was really um, kind of difficult to find. It is a pro product, so keep that in mind when you're looking for it. I buy all my stuff off the internet. So, um, and it's, I mean, obviously bigger, but it was like 14 bucks. Um, but I would love it. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, great transition shadows and great um, ones for fall as well. I don't know if you guys ever keep an eye on um, the MAC website, but if you're impressed with their pigments or whatever, but they did come out with um, many, they're called like size to go pigments. A lot of their stuff, um, a lot of face washes, mascaras, whatnot, did um, also ju jump on with that as a size to go, so they're smaller versions um, and cheap, like 10 bucks, um, even like um, the lip glasses and stuff, 10 bucks. And they're the real popular ones. So um, I did buy uh, one from MAC. This is it. And this is Blue Brown. I'm pretty sure everybody's had it. I bought Blue Brown, Melon, and Vanilla. But Blue Brown has been my favorite. But it's so pretty. It does wonders for brown eyes such as mine. I've seen it on green. I mean, it just really complements you because the different contrasts in the shades definitely make any eye color, eye color pop and 10 bucks and this is going to last forever and another pigment i bought is from inglot 
and I seen this on like Chelsea, Chelsea Beautiful. She used it in one of her um, tutorials, and I was like, I have to get it. Inglot is so hard for myself to come by because I only know of one that's in downtown Chicago. So luckily for me, my sister-in-law works right across the street from Water Tower. So she is the best person ever and ran across the street and picked this up for me. And this is number 82. And I don't know if you guys can see that. It has, it's a gold with like pink and purple in it almost. Or like a rose gold. Sorry about my nails. This is life after acrylics right now and I'm really trying to fix them and my nails are shut. Um, yeah. So if you guys have any, any um, advice for me to get these things back looking halfway decent, please let me know. But anyways, um, this is number 82 and it was a huge amount for 14 bucks. And I mean, I'm so impressed with Inglot. I'm impressed with their prices, their quality, everything. I mean, they're definitely as good or better than Mac and I feel like they give you larger amounts and the price is right. So definitely number 82. Love it. This will also, I mean, this could definitely go for, I wore it during the summer and this is going to be legit an awesome um, bronzy color for the fall. So I'm jumping on the bandwagon, which I didn't think I was going to because I don't like matte lips because my lips are always dry, but I jumped on the Jenner bandwagon and went back to the 90s makeup. Mind you, when I say I'm a 90s baby, I was a teenager in the 90s, so I was technically born in the 80s. Grunge was not my scene. So now that I see it coming back with the flannel and all that stuff, I'm like, oh, good lord. But this, this Jenner makeup, I mean... Chris Jenner's kids legit are beautiful. Every one of them, they look great. I'm, I'm just, I love them all. They're beautiful and their makeup artists are amazing. So, here I am. My rendition of the Jenner matte 90s look. And this is my Kylie Jenner matte lip. Um, this is mine. This is my version. This is what I like to use. Um, it may not be on point to where it is. It's not whirl that everybody else is doing because I didn't want to go there. So, um, yeah, so this is mine. And what I used to achieve it was the Spice Lip Pencil from MAC, which is um, like a mauve brown right here. And uh, I am using Kinda Sexy from MAC. And it is a matte, and it looks like this. It's like a um, like a mauve pink, I guess we're going to call it. That's what we're going to go with. Um, it's a great fall color. So there it is right there. And I, I mean, I like it. So it works for me, works for my skin, works for my tone, and I like it. And it's, you know, my version, my rendition of it. So if you guys like it, those are the two that I married to make this. My favorite, favorite lip for this summer has been on um, Max Sweet and Sour, which, you know, is this right here. And let me swatch it here. So this is it right here. And I've been putting um, this lip gloss, Pink Lemonade, on top of it corally summer lip um, it's so pretty it like shimmers it enhances the tan um, it makes you look glowy I mean it's it's a, it's a good it's a good combo I only have a couple more things left um, my next is another Mac product it's a lot of Mac stuff I'm just definitely promoting them they should be sponsoring me um, my next product is um, a brow set for Mac it is um, in girl boy so I don't know if you've seen this I've never been a big fan of these I have the clear one from Anastasia um but I was like yeah I don't really have that many that much eyebrow to really set but I did get this because I'm keep going lighter on my hair and um it's just to lighten up the overall shade of my brows because I don't like coloring them or bleaching them or whatever so it just makes them like a lighter brown because mine are like really black so it's this color it's a little bit more difficult now that I have a baby back. Um, brow set for MAC, awesome. Um, I don't like the wand. Um, the wand is too big for my um, taste. <laughs> Sophia wants to come in too. Um, these, it works. Um, yeah, I like it. I don't know, I'm thinking I'm going to try the Benefit one, but I like, I've been using it. You know, it works for me. And the last thing that I have is the infamous Becca highlighter. I know everybody's been talking about this. This is like all the rage on in the YouTube world and beauty world right now. Um, but I jumped on the bandwagon and I got it mostly because the name is Becca and that's my baby's name. 
and um, but I got it in oval and this is what it looks like. It's pretty, but it gives a nice subtle highlight, definitely. I was using the Mary Lubinizer and that's like in your face. This one's pretty. I mean, I definitely would see people as like an every year, everyday type highlighter. Whereas me, I feel like I'll go to the grocery store with Mary Lubinizer just blinding people, giving no shits about anybody. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, you know, it's pricey. It's like 38 bucks. The last thing that I have here is not a beauty item. It is, um, you know, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but since I have the last, my last daughter, I've been really becoming more health conscious and trying to be a better me. So, um, you know, I've been working out, definitely eating cleaner. Um, yeah, so since I've had the baby till now, um, I've lost almost 50 pounds, about 49 pounds, um, working out you know, five days a week, lifting weights, um, kind of eating clean, definitely not indulging as much as I used to, um, and I mean, it's become definitely a lifestyle for me, and it's an obsession. I love it. I live for it. I love working out. I so I've been working out, you know, five days a week, lifting weights. Um, I do take off two days. Those are usually the days that I work, and I work 12-hour shifts, so... Some days I could barely walk back into the house, so those are my off days for sure. And if I have a really, really tough day at work, um, sometimes I have to take the next day off just because, you know, my body needs a break sometimes. But anyways, um, yeah, so what I've been using as a pre-workout is this um, Cellucor um, C4. I love it. Um, it's like pink powder. Um, sorry. And uh, you just mix a, this in. Okay, this is Becca in the YouTube world. Say hi, Mira Mama. Say hi. Um, so, yeah. She's just going to hang out with us right now because she's not uh, ready to be sitting down. So, I take it an hour after I eat, um, half an hour before I'm going to work out. And you feel it. You feel like this warm, burning your fingers get tingly and you just you you want to because you're going to want to sweat it out so you're going to work hard you're going to run faster do your workouts harder you're going to you know do more reps i mean you're going to feel it and you're going to love it you're going to love the way it feels everything i mean it was it's my favorite so the thing is though you only do it for four weeks and you cycle off for two and then you jump back on um i'm cycling off right now um because you'll start to feel that you need more scoops and you're not supposed to have that many. Um, so yeah, I was definitely adding a little bit more. And I was like, yeah. So right now I'm taking the Amino Energy. So I'll let you guys know how that one is. But I love this. I heard some people, you know, saying they loved it on here. And some people talking a world of shit about it. And if you don't like it, that's on you. I mean, like I said, I'm not a personal trainer. Um, this isn't my profession. This is what works for me. This is how, you know, gets me through it. I mean and to each its own so if you don't like it I'm sorry if you think I'm doing something wrong that's on you but this is for me and what works for me and this stuff works and I like it and if you guys have the option to try it I suggest it if you know you guys have other other things that you like definitely let suggest it to me and I'll totally look into it but um, definitely my fitness journey has been a journey and it's taken me a long time but I like the person I'm becoming and I'm working on it so um, I think that's it for my August favorites. I'm definitely jumping back onto this YouTube world. I don't know how easy it's going to be. I don't know how many times she may not be in a video, but I'm going to try to be back on here as much as I can because I love it. I love the YouTube community. I love everything these videos do for people. I love watching them and I hope that you guys enjoy my videos as much as I enjoy everybody else's out there. And um, I'm thinking my next one is definitely going to be a tutorial. Um, beauty is my passion. Makeup is my passion. And I'm not saying, that's another thing I'm not saying I'm a professional on, but um, fall's coming and I love warm looks. So I think that's going to be my next one. If you guys have any suggestions on um, anything you want to see, please, please, please comment below, subscribe, tell your friends, follow me on Instagram. And um, thank you for those who um, remember me from before. Um, thank you for hanging on and waiting for me. And those who are just finding me, hello. And um, 
I hope we can become friends. Alright, so I will see you guys hopefully within the next couple weeks again with another makeup tutorial. Alright, so stay tuned and I will see you guys. Bye! Bye, Becky! Bye!